Welcome back to Mike Foster Outdoors. Um, today we're going to do a little video of uh, this pole barn that I had built. Any of you guys that's been following me for a long time know that my old building was just a little uh, tarp building with some tubing frame. Had that for a long time, but it did keep my boat out of the weather, so it served its purpose. And then uh, as soon as we were able to, we put us up a big barn. So I was just going to show you guys some of my stuff I got set up in here and uh, let's just get into it with the juice. I got to show you guys my cool weather vane that we got put up on top. It's uh, something me and my wife picked out together. Let me get my solar bats on here. If you guys ain't tried solar bats, you need to check them out. They're always having pretty decent sales too. I think they got one going right now. Um, these are the R RGB2s. and. Uh, they really fit good. So, right there, the old fish and arrow weather vane. That thing's pretty sweet, but me and my wife decided we wanted that. She loves arrows, and obviously I'm a bass and that. They didn't have a largemouth bass, but that's close enough. Um, so here's like the front of our barn this looks like any standard pole barn I got two 10 foot high doors 12 foot wide um, the dimensions on the barn is 40 by 60 and then we put a 12 foot ceiling in it so we don't have our electrical ran in here yet we I honestly probably won't mess with that until next year. I'm running off of extension cord grid right now. I already got a power pole and meter and stuff up here. So I just got a few things running off of that extension cords. Um, really all I need is to be able to charge my boat and have a light in here. But this is just all obviously your standard pole barn stuff. Kids got them a little basketball going here. I've got my truck and car and boat in here and I still got a ton of room. Um, so if any of you guys are looking to uh, put you up a barn of 40 by 60, he's got plenty of space. My boat's a 21 foot boat and I could uh, get it in here with a lot of other stuff. And I just got my shelves. We did just uh, pick up this barn fridge the other day for drinks i mean why wouldn't you cover it up with fishing logos dixie custom rods front and center right there and then the thing that i'm most excited for because i've saved up baits collected baits for a lot of years and i never really knew exactly what all i had but uh I still got some stuff in some boxes and totes that's not put up, but I got my pegboard set up over here and I'm nice and organized. And if I need something, I just walk over here and get it. And if I run out, just order some more, fill that peg up. But I'm gonna show you guys what, just kinda how I set my pegboard up. It's fairly organized. There's still a little bit of jumbledness on here, I guess you could say, but over here I got all my Strike King crank baits. There's an old Hot Lips. That's a good one. An oldie but goodie. A lot of these baits on here, like these two fives and stuff, I got those on Marketplace new in the pack for three bucks a bait, so I got a steal on those. Same way with uh, a lot of these six cents baits. I've Pretty much every uh, six cents in these rows right here, plus I have several on my boat. I, 
think I only gave like 175 maybe for all of them and there's probably like 60 baits um, got my frog right here anybody that follows the channel you know I get on a frog bite every now and then and I can't get off of it uh, bull shad a couple little things fishing with Nordby I don't know if any of you guys follow him on YouTube these little sidewinder um, chatter baits them actually got really good action to them um, I've thrown them I ordered some of them and uh, that's his signature series uh, might look him up on YouTube he's pretty fun to watch he lives down there on Gunnersville weight pegs I don't know if you guys know, but Six Cents makes these, these are called Peg X Stoppers, but they're basically a bobber stop, but they're way bigger than the normal size. They're probably almost three times as big. And if you ever see those little ones aren't holding your weight and you got to keep pushing them down, if you get these, that'll stop the majority of that. And if you, if you're somebody that likes to punch mats and stuff with the three quarter, one ounce, two ounce weight, whatever. You can put two of those on above your weight and that thing's not moving, it stays there. And I got some shaky heads and some few hooks here, some more jig heads. Gotta have a few magnum spoons, right? Hair jigs. My line's getting low. I just put a couple of my last pulls in the boat, my 15 and 20. That Seagull Red Label, I've used that stuff for, I don't know, almost since it came out. That's some good line for the price of it. I know everything's raising in price, but. A few swim baits. These old Largo shads are legit for trailers or just throwing them on a jig head. Snack Daddy tubes. I got a boatload of those. I got a whole nother tote of those stashed away. I've always got one of them tied on. Um, some Strike King plastics. A few brush hogs. D bombs. And a few miscellaneous things right here until I get to the end. Then I got my trick worms and my 10 inch worms, which I got to make an order for a couple of those because getting low on them the uh, last ones I got on a few of those collars are in the boat but anyways that is pretty much the boat house tour a lot of stuff to still do but I got it a lot more better than the old tarp building just putting a couple hangers up there for my rain gear so I can throw it up on the wall and let it dry out there's a bimini top cover if you guys haven't seen that video you uh should go check that out because uh, that thing's pretty handy. That goes along with the misting fan to cool you down. All right, guys, that's all I got for you as far as a tour of the boathouse. Um, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like I said, please hit that subscribe button. And me and my son are going to fish a Wednesday night or tonight. Hopefully we can do good pretty tough over there last Wednesday or, yeah last Wednesday I fished with my daughter we finished fifth out of like 14 boats I had to step up my game tonight I did have a 4-9 though I just couldn't catch another good one we'll see you guys stay cool catch a big one